Oh my god, Casey, what the fuck have you done to your hair, man? I'm just pulling your leg, guys. Casey Neistat is one of my favorite YouTube creators. If you guys don't already know who he is, of course, most of you will. He is an awesome, awesome vlogger. And in fact, is the guy who inspired me to make my first ever vlog. And it was a total coincidence, right? And I'm not making this up. The day that I found out that he had went platinum blonde was also the day that I went platinum blonde. So a lot of you guys have been asking why I've done it. Is there a story behind it? And today is the episode where I'm gonna explain exactly what it is about the hair, right? It is partly nostalgia and it was partly an accident, right? Let me explain. When I was a child, one, two, three year old, I lived in South Africa for a few years because my dad is South African and we lived in the sunshine. When I was that age, up until the age of about four or five year old, my hair was so, so blonde. I've got a few photos here that I'm gonna show you. And in fact, I've got albums and albums and albums of these photos of me being bright, 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 strawberry blonde as a little kid. And I was known as a wee blonde kid. But then as I got a wee bit older, I moved back to Scotland, my hair started to darken up in those dark Scottish winter nights. And I lost the blonde completely. And I thought that was really sad. I loved my blonde hair when I was a kid. And then when I was a teenager, the whole Eminem phase kicked in. I was a massive, massive, massive Eminem fan. And I had my hair exactly like Eminem's, bright peroxide blonde. So this is not the first time I've done this. Doesn't make it any better or worse. It's just a fact I've done this actually two or three times I've been peroxide blonde. And this platinum blonde thing was like a little bit of an accident. Like we did this at home. It wasn't professionally done. It was myself, my wife, Tekka, and my mother-in-law who did it. Mostly my mother-in-law. Let's blame the mother-in-law. <laughs> I actually should have done a good job. But the dyes that we bought weren't probably wrong. To get to the stage I'm at now, they actually took three stages, right? The first stage, the first dye that we bought, made my hair a bright orange color and it was just totally weird, like iron brew. And I thought, nah, this can't, this can't be right. So then we got another hair dye, a second hair dye, and that changed it from bright orange to bright yellow. And that also wasn't right. Cause like, I'm not a character for The Simpsons. So that had to be dealt with as well. I bought a third hair dye. This was all within a period of two or three days, guys, right? I bought a third hair dye, and at this point, we were at the stage of no return. There was no going back to my old color. It went orange, it went yellow, and it was either go totally blonde or shave it off. That was the choices I faced at that point. So, yeah, it was kind of a mistake. Kind of wanted to highlight my hair for the summer, and that was basically it. Like, I'm here in Brazil right now, and it's a perfect place to do that here in Brazil with the bright sunshine and all that kind of stuff. I started to lighten up anyway. So, just to get a wee bit highlight in my hair, that was the plan, and it just went a wee bit too far. Basically, that's the story. And I do realize from what I've just told you, there are a lot of underlying stories that you guys don't know about my life in South Africa when I was a kid, why I was there, all that kind of stuff. I guess that story will be for another day, another episode. But yeah, I'm bright blonde. That is the story. I've got this weird contrast going on between my hair and my beard. And I know a lot of people have commented that they've grown into it as well, which makes me feel good because when I first did this, I was like, oh my God, what the hell has happened? But after a few days, I've started to grow into it. I've started to enjoy it more. I've started to feel more comfortable and I actually quite like it now. And a lot of you guys have said the same things over on the comments. Like you thought it was weird at first, but now you're getting into it. But I've not really been out in public that much since then. We've had a lot of work to do in the house over the last couple of days. So today I'm actually gonna take myself out. Let's do it. All right, so today's the day. Get my nice new blonde hair out into the sun. Going over to Villa Villa because the first thing we actually need to do is pick up Tekka's passport, which I told you about a few days ago in the vlog. It's taken a week and a half, which is pretty quick actually. Let's go. Tekka's new passport means she should get back into the UK again. Anyway, we're done with all this bureaucracy nonsense. Let's get to the beach. down it's quite late in the day but saw it right here I came just for the ice lolly one thing about my hair is it went quite dry right and very disobedient since I dyed it blonde look at that it just does its own thing now kind of like it messy though So that was our trip to Villa Villa Beach Over. We've just come to the bakery here before we go home because there's one right here on the beach. The bread they have in the Brazilian bakeries is sensational. Let me just 
Just trust me on that. French bread they call it here, which is a bit weird. Ham and cheese, jam, a bit of cake. Sort us out for tonight. The beach here in Villa Velia kind of sucked today, to be honest. I don't know why, it just, it was windy, there was a lot of people, the water was a bit brown looking, so we didn't enjoy it that much, which is unusual. We always seem to love the beach here in Brazil, but today it blew a little bit. Anyway, stopping off here at the bakery and then we're gonna go home. Right, we're going over the big bridge now. The third bridge is called here in Vitoria, right? One thing that freaks me out about this bridge is like, it's really high off the ocean once you're crossing it. Really, really high. If you go over, you're dead. Like, the barrier that stops you from going over the edge of the bridge is like, it only really comes up to your window here. And it's like thin sheet of concrete and it's right on the edge. So I feel if there was any crashes that went into the side of that, they would either flip right over it or, I don't know, just go right through it. To hear me out one time, you got to be yourself. back from the beach it was kind of rubbish there as i said to you at the bakery i'm going to spend the rest of the evening editing video and i've got a few other bits and pieces to do here as well but um yeah good that tech got her passport anyway that's a bit of a relief because then we are free to travel which we'll be doing again pretty soon i guess in other news i got back into snapchat the other day it's a really really fun app i really enjoy using it i don't have many followers there and probably never will have but it's an app that i really enjoy using i think it's just funky and cool and i came across bit emoji bit emoji is one of their their things there and it like kind of lets you draw characters um and this is my bit emoji it, it kind of represents what i look like at the moment what do you think realistic but yeah bit emoji is cool i'm going to be doing a lot of kind of daily behind the scenes stuff on Snapchat and Instagram stories as well. So if you're on Instagram or Snapchat, make sure you follow me over there. But yeah, that is it for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. I wanted to give you a bit of insight into my blonde hair that a lot of people were asking about. And that's the story. So I will speak to you guys again tomorrow with more content. You hear the sound? Birds making a noise. It is 5.30 in the morning here in Brazil. 5.14. The birds are already out singing. I literally just saw someone wearing spandex. 5.15 in the morning, wearing spandex, out cycling, exercising on a Sunday morning here in Brazil.